Welcome to the Bronx Latino History Project. My name is Stephen Payne, librarian and archivist at the Bronx County Historical Society. Today is December 22nd, 2021, and we're here again with Elba Cabrera for part five of her oral history. And in this oral history, Elba will be showing us um, a lot of pictures from travels, from her career, from family, and um, time permitting, uh, maybe some artwork on her walls as well, we'll see. Um, but a lot of very interesting things. Uh, so, Elba, do you want to um, start off maybe with uh, talking about some of your travels? Yes, well, we talked about my travels in the last session. Um, I've been very fortunate because as a child, I always dream dreamt of uh, going to different places. Little did I know that it would happen late in life. I was already uh, in my late 50s when I really started to travel. Sure. I had been to Puerto Rico, I had been to some of the islands, but uh, uh, I really started going out. Yeah. So, um, besides traveling in the States, I was fortunate enough to uh, go to, in 2007, I went to South Africa. Wow. And that's one of the trips that I, I hold dear to my heart because I saw uh, animals out in the wild that I had, you know, uh, most of them, I had I'd seen some of them in Bronx Zoo <laughs> and Central Park Zoo, but not this way. Sure. And uh, I just, you know, went, went crazy with my camera. And I have some pictures I'd like to share with you because they mean a lot to me. Sure. And um, uh, here's one with a wow. deer right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right. All, in, all in splendor. And the zebra. Yeah, they're so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> oh, so graceful. Yeah. And talk about graceful, the, uh, the giraffes, and I hope I, I have one here. This is my favorite, the elephants. Mm. And I kept telling our guide, I want to see elephants. He says, Elba, you're going to see elephants, don't you worry. <laughs> and this was the last that we saw, and it was all these uh, families. That They're he, so intelligent. Too. And, and he explained to us that the male is the one that leads, you know, that they depend on. Yeah. And Because I always thought in terms of the woman, sure. but it's the male in this case. And... Um, we it was it was something we had <laughs> one of the times that we saw an elephant and it was across the road we were we were on that side it was a baby elephant and the mother was on the other side yeah and all of a sudden the guy says we have to get out of here because <laughs> th she's going to think that we're going to harm her car, sure. her, her, her baby and we got into the jeep and we were out of there. <laughs> yeah. And this is a scene in in South Africa. Beautiful. I I really, you know, I, I dream of I dreamt of going back because it was just so beautiful. We saw so many things uh, and the people were really look at this rainbow. Look at that. Mm. And I, I want to get to the, we went to Victoria Falls, and here it is, Victoria Falls. And if you think Niagara Falls is pretty, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Your mouth just goes, oh. Yeah. And here I am, because you have to really <laughs> oh, sure. put on a raincoat. I mean, that water keeps gushing down, and it's, it's pretty strong. Yeah. And, and here's a Victor by the... That rainbow. By the rainbow again. Mm. Oh, well, this is pretty. Look at this. Wow. Mm. It, it was a, a trip... That I'll never, never, never forget. Did you go by yourself or you with No, the... no, I was with a group of people. Yeah. And here's 
the last of the elephants. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I went with um, the Gonzaleses and Carmen Vega was with me. Oh, okay. And uh, Eddie was on that trip. So it, we, we had a nice group of people yeah. that went. And uh, we, we went to the tip of uh, the continent. Wow. And yeah. that's where we saw the penguins. <laughs> and I always thought penguins up in the north in the cold. Sure. Well, it's it's quite cold down there okay, too. It's yeah. breezy. It's very windy. And we just went crazy with them. Because yeah. they, just, they look so cute, you know? <laughs> and yeah. I saw on the letter on uh, the scrapbook that you made that you also visited Robin's prison. Oh, that was... We went to uh, where uh, uh, Mandela had been in prison for yeah. so many... It was Robin's Island. Yeah, Robin's Island, yeah. Right, and uh, we took a, a boat and we got there and we all felt the same way when we saw that cell that he had been on in that cell for all those years yeah it was a tiny little room yeah and he, we started crying for sure and the people that took us around the guides they were all um uh, uh, men that had been in jail wow. you know for a period of time and they were able to get these jobs. Wow. Mm. But it was quite an experience. And we also saw where he lived when he was with uh, his first wife. Oh, okay, sure. We saw that. Uh, it was a, you know, when you think of Africa, you you know, especially in this country with the, with the jungles and all that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's not that way. Yeah. You know, it's so much more than... Than the jungle, sure. It's much more than animals. It's people. Yeah. And everybody was very, very nice. We even went to a, we went to a, a African restaurant. Sure. And uh, we tried different foods, and this particular one we had to eat with our hands, but they did give us uh, utensils. Yeah. But we all tried it to eat with our hands. Yeah. It was that was fun. And that was a place where I tried deer, oh, okay. deer steak, and that's because my friend Sylvia said, "No, no, you have to try it. You have to try it." <laughs> and I liked it. It was good. It okay. Was, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I was kind of glad that she said so. For sure. Yeah. So I have some other pictures here that may be of interest. Okay. Yeah. Let's see that. And let's see what I can do too. Uh, let's try this way. This was taken by my son Paul, and oh, this was okay, at the sure. um, AHA, one, one of the events at AHA, uh, the Association photo. of Hispanic Arts. This is more recent, but I thought it was important to show you Oscar, who was released from prison after so many years. Sure. This is Professor Lopez from Ostos. Sandra Ruiz, who was uh, part of Hostos for many years under Dolores Fernandez. Sure. And me. And this yeah. was in Puerto Rico. That was in Puerto Rico, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I forget how long he was in prison, but it was it a was, long time. Yeah, right? uh, at least 30 years. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Um, this is more recent again, but I was given an award by the uh, Clara Limerick. Awards, and um, if you know uh, who she was, uh, they had uh, this was a labor movement. There was a fire down in the, the Lower East Side, yeah, and uh, many women were trapped and lost, they lost their lives. And uh, this award is given in her honor, and I was. Uh, an honorary. I was in 2019, okay, which yeah. to me was really exciting. We, we we were given the award at the Museum of the City in New York. Okay, that's so, wonderful. So uh, this was just before the uh, pandemic. pandemic. Oh yeah. my God! Wow. So, yeah, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. That's what. Yeah, and I talk a lot about my youth and 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 people I knew and. This is Machito. Machito. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we were 
he was given, uh, this was after he, he passed, but uh, at Hostels we had an event, a tribute to his work. Sure. I forget, was he one of the musicians who was at the Palladium when you yes. went there and yes. set, and and remembered you from when you yes, were a little girl? Yes, and, and right? Mario Bausa. Mario, Mario, Mario Bausa. Actually, it was Mario that saw me first. Okay, yeah. Here's Mario Bausa. Sure. And... Um, Graciela. Oh yeah. Graciela was his was Machito's sister, and uh, sister-in-law to to Mario. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They were uh, wonderful people. And Tato La Viera. Sure. The, the artist, the poet, who used to come and bother me at Aha all the time, <laughs> and. Uh, he was one of the first, he and, and Wally were one of the first to call me Madrina. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I talked to you about uh, Eddie and his wife Helen, Helen Rodriguez Trias, and Eddie Gonzalez. Sure. Yes. They both uh, have made their transition, but they were dear friends. Absolutely, and both activists. And both, yes, in their own right. And here's Frank Espada, who was a, a, an artist, and he was also a commissioner uh, under Lindsay, mm. one of the, I forgot which one, but uh, he worked for the feds for a while, and here's Padillo. Oh, sure. Jack Agueros was one of, uh, also worked for the uh, uh, government in New York City. Uh, but he also became the executive director of the Museo del Barrio at one mm. time. And Jane Delgado was uh, uh, the executive director after Elsa. At oh, Aha. at Aha, yeah. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who know the th uh, theatrical group Pregones, yes. this is the original cast. Wow. They were all babies then. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? Mm -hmm. And two wonderful people here. It's Nicolas Samoa, the author, and Rafael Tufino, the artist. Sure. Both uh, wonderful people. Again, my aha days. <laughs> yes. Well, um, Commissioner Gelsella, of, he, ha he was the commissioner for the arts and culture, and uh, I'm in the middle, and Miguel Rosario was the chairperson at aha. Sure. And we made the newspapers a few times, and you can see here, I'm going to show up, Elsa, Malta Moreno Vega, Jorge Hernandez, again Miguel yeah, and me. Yeah. And this is Luis, who was with Pregones, Manuel. Well, they were working for uh, AHA at that time. This artist also, I forgot her name, and me. Yes. And we made Del Diario. And here we go again. And this, we used to have um, events at the place. So uh, here's Elsa, Manuel, Badillo, and me. And I was the editor of the Hispanic Arts during this time. And you can see uh, this photo of me with, uh, not of me, of uh, Paul and, and Petey Thomas, sure. Paul, my son. Yeah. And I forget, how often would you put out the uh, newsletter? Uh, it was once uh, once a month, once every six weeks. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it was, believe yeah. me. And to get the people to uh, to have their things in on deadline. I know. <laughs> it was not easy. 
This is a picture of Lily and my sister when she was young, and you could see the 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 coat and look at the flower in her hair. Yeah, yeah. Is that the 1940s? It would be in the 1940s, oh, yeah. yes. And uh, this is a, my, my teenage group. Teenage, we were all probably around 18 in here. Sure. 17. And that's at a party. Okay, yeah. Those were the good old days. <laughs> And Pura Belpre was the first Puerto Rican librarian in the New York Public Library System yeah. in, in Manhattan. And uh, she was also a family friend. I sure. think I've spoken to you about her. Yeah. And this is more recent of uh, my baby granddaughter. This is, uh, we call her Q. The famous Q. The famous Q. <laughs> And she's now four and a half. Wow. And this is my niece, Anita. And she was younger. Sure. <laughs> and this is my nephew, Enrique, uh, and his wife, Lillian, and me. And this is part of my travels, because this is Seattle. Ah, OK, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love Seattle. <laughs> And my friend Angela Fontanes did a video called um, Reflections of Our Past, and it was about the uh, migra migration of the Puerto Ricans to the New York area. And this was taken in Hoboken and in uh, uh, South Sea Seaport. Sure. Uh, you could see uh, P.D. Thomas is here. And we were dressed in the the clothing uh, from that time, and Paul and, and me. Yeah, wow, those are wonderful photos. <laughs> and then the, the other group. Okay, yeah. And here is, this is a famous photo of Bobby Garcia, our congressman, sure. Evelina, and Coretta, Coretta King. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. And here's Evelina, it's just a picture was taken of her, which I love. That is a very wonderful picture. Did you, I, I forget, did you say that was in Puerto Rico? Where that yeah, was, I believe it was in Puerto Rico. This one was uh, during World War II. We used to have rallies uh, for the war effort. Sure. And Evelina was one of the main speakers with Jesus Colon and two other women. And uh, I have a cute story about that. Oh, sure, let's hear I it. Was, I was about, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years old. Yeah. And uh, I was in the audience with Lillian, with my sister Lillian. And all of a sudden, the rains came. Yeah. And I had this, they had given me uh, like a costume with crepe paper. Oh, okay. Color. Oh, sure. And the rains came and oh, all no. this dye came <laughs> all over me. And I started crying out for Evelina. We used to call her Titi. I said, Titi. And, and Lillian says, you can't, she can't come down. Just stay with me. <laughs> But I'll never forget that day. Oh, wow. <laughs> and when Evelina passed, we had, you know, tributes to her, as you could see. And also a play by Sandra Rodriguez. Sure. Uh, it was called Evelina's Heart. And we're hoping to put that on this year for her centennial. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yes. And I, I you know, I dabble in photography, too. Yes. So... Uh, this is in San Juan. I took that in one of the restaurants. And this is one of the chapels that was from the beginning. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. 
I love this. And we were in Puerto Rico together. Uh, it was me, Dani, Anita, and Raul. And that was really uh, one of the uh, nicest trips. And we we do, we did this because I had a picture similar to that. I don't have it handy now of Evelina with us, and we decided to do the same. Oh, thing. okay. This is their yeah. house in, in PR. So, you know, I just wanted to share some of the things. I have loads and loads and loads of pictures. Sure. Which I have to go through, but that's another, that's another day. <laughs> Absolutely. And, <laughs> but um, I'd like to show you my, uh, like everybody calls my gallery. Yes, yes. And, um, and I'm going to give you a tour. Okay, great. It is now. Yeah. Um, so... In my travels, I've picked up quite a few things, and uh, I have some things here that are really meaningful to me. Um, I have to show you this because it's really one of my treasures, and uh, I'm going to take it out sure. and show it to you. called the Friambrera and it was used in Puerto Rico to send the men off to work with oh. food. Okay, sure. Yeah. In wow. Cuba they call this cantina. Okay, yeah. But yeah. we call it Friambrera. Friambrera. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the reason I have this is that Ostos Wally gave me this as an award That's for my work in a the arts. really great re award! Yes. Wow. So I love, I love it, and when I look at it, it brings me back a lot of memories. Absolutely. And I have one here. I have to show you this. You know, the seashells in Puerto Rico are far and few between because the tourists have taken them. Sure. Uh, some countries like Costa Rica, you cannot take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They refuse, you, you know, they'll, so they'll stop you. Crime. Yeah. Right, yeah. So when Paul came home from, he had gone to Puerto Rico, because uh, he must have been about 13. He went with Evelina for, for the holiday with the kids. And he comes home with this. That's and beautiful. I said, oh, how pretty. And he was, and I said, I said to him, it's a miracle Titi didn't ask you for this. He <laughs> says she never saw it because I knew that if she saw it, she would want it and I would give it to her. Yeah. And I wanted you to have it. So wow. I have that. So uh, you could hear the ocean. Wow. Yeah, so it's a treasure. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, little things. My little turtle here that Luis from Pregones gave me oh, okay. many years ago. Yeah. So, you know, it's, I, I look at it as I, I start getting rid of these things, but I, I can't. Yeah, I yeah. really can't. It's just too, this I got in, uh, um, in uh, South Ooh, America. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was another trip that I loved being in South America. I went to Argentina four times. Oh, wow. It was wonderful. And it's um, one of the things that I got from there. And it was a. Was, oh, I think I gave it to my son. Mm. It was. A, oh, here it is. No, no. Here it is. They drink, this was in, in Uruguay. They drink tea from here. Oh, okay. That's a hollowed out gourd. Is that yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So. Each, each piece has a story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Those pieces are from Mexico. And that was a gift that oh. was given to me. Although I've been to Mexico many times. I sure. Love it. And I, I know Karina, um, in her oral history, motioned to all of your uh, the instruments. Yes. Some of the instruments that you have out. Yeah, this is the guido. Sure. Sure. 
That's yeah. wonderful, yeah. Yeah. And this is all, I could tell you that Evelina well, gave me all of these. Oh, really? Yes. People used to eat or, you know, serve from these. Okay, sure, yeah. And uh, she gave me this. Because when she went to Puerto Rico, she would come back with gifts. Oh, okay, I see, yeah. Yeah, so this is, these are all things that that I got from her. And even though, you know, I say I'm going to clean it out, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, yeah. I I have to. Too much sentimental value. Oh, yes. Yeah. Every time I look at it, I, I, I remember her. Yeah, absolutely. So, I have to be really careful some of these things are... Okay. Yeah, and the maracas. Oh, sure, yeah. Which uh, Q loves to come to. <laughs> I'm sure. She comes here and she, she, she has a ball with all my things. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting piece, too. This oh. is... This is from South America and was given to me wow, by. Wow! Look uh, at that. Isn't that something? Look at the workmanship. It's so intricate! Wow. Yeah. I can't even imagine how long it, that would take. <laughs> yeah, and this is. I mean, this is not something they did now. Yeah. This is an old piece. Wow. And it, uh, Minerva Aponte Jolly, who was uh, a, a cousin. Uh, Family, family. She gave me this for many. Yeah, so it, it keeps on, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. And this I got in PR. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I really should put this in, the, in there. Yeah. 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 These two are my Indians. Sure. Right here. I have to put them. Yeah. Right here. I'll leave it here for now. Okay, so. All right. So this is uh, Rafael Tufino. Sure. Uh, this is a series that he did many years ago. I would say around 60 years ago. And Evelina Lillian bought three series, one for each sister, one for herself, one for me, one for Evelina. And it tells the story of the coffee, the people that plant the coffee in the mountains. Yeah. And um, it's just, these pieces are, it's not just the art, but it's the story that goes with it. Absolutely. And uh, Rafael Tufino was a, a marvelous, marvelous artist who was born in New York and at the age of 10 went to live in Puerto Rico. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And then he became uh, bi-coastal, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, went, he, went, he would come here, he would go back to Puerto Rico. He passed away... Uh, well, it was, now it's been about eight years, I think, mm. uh, and he's, uh, he made his transition. But I have wonderful stories about Rafael Dufino. Yeah. And uh, so you go through the whole, you know, uh, time that they plant it till they, they get everything ready, and at the end, they have a party because party, yeah. they work so hard. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is my treasure. Then here, Evelina, there's a book that was written about uh, her as a, a young girl by Nicolas Samoa. It's called All About uh, All. Hold it. There's a book called All for the Better, and it was written by Nicolas Amour. Uh, it was commissioned uh, by uh, uh, 
Alex Haley Foundation. Oh, okay, sure. And um, so this is a picture, Rudy Gutierrez, that it's in the book. Mm. And then that is the saying that that's quoted about uh, the Bronx and Evelina. I'd yeah. like you to, to take a picture of that. Absolutely. Oh, that was taken by one of, yeah. That was taken, this one, this picture was taken by one of the uh, artists that used to come to AHA. Oh, okay. Name, but sure. That was me young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, Karina, my, my oldest granddaughter, at the age of eight with me. And yeah. that... That was done by Shirley Rodriguez, the photographer. Okay, yeah. And that was in an exhibit. It's wonderful. And my niece, Anita, she's an artist as well. And this is her work. Okay, sure. Right here. And uh, we have here, uh, I got this uh, from the... Uh, Latino 50 plus oh, organization yes. for lifetime achievement. Look at that. And Manny Vega's work. Sure. And Manny's very well known. Uh, he's also uh, practices the, the uh, African religion. Uh, and this is one of his pieces and he gave it to me as a That's gift. A beautiful piece. And you have quite a bit of mayonnaise. Oh, work, yeah. Right? Yeah, you're going to see more. <laughs> and my dear friend who passed away, uh, George Aguirre. Ah, okay, yeah. George used to be, uh, not only work for ESO, mm -hmm. and used to give, he, he started giving money to the Hispanic organizations sure. during the uh, 80s, 70s and 80s. And... Uh, he also was a photographer, and he was the chair of the board of directors at the Museo del Barrio. Okay, yeah. At one time, and this is this is in Spain. This statue. This is Puerto Rico. Mm. And I've been very fortunate to have all these wonderful artists. Yeah. And this one is. Um, what you would consider like a bishop sure. in Africa, and it was taken by Marcos Kalish. Mm. And this one was also uh, had to do with the African based religion, and this is um, uh, Marcos Kalish in Brazil. Ah, okay, okay, sure. Yeah. And here, uh, I think you're going to recognize. <laughs> the lady on the right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> with me, I was honored to to have been in her presence. And uh, I talk a lot about Wally. And that's Wally. There's Wally. And that's Danny Rivera, mm. the uh, Puerto Rican artist, sure. singer, and uh, Nidia Echko. Yes. Those are my dear friends. And my uh, oldest granddaughter, uh, drew this picture of Q when she was little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so Miguel, este, no Miguel, este, Rafael. Rafael Tufino again. This is his mom. Okay, yeah. Goyita. And this is his daughter, Nitsa Tufino. And that was a poster she did for. Comité Noviembre, mm. and this is uh, also again Rafael Tufino. Sure. The Santero. And I told you that my niece Anita was uh, was a uh, artist. She yes. she crocheted this, but this is the oh, she, wow. this is the this is the map of Puerto Rico. Oh, 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 wow. I, yeah, yeah. And I hope to frame it at one point. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't it? So I, I, I had it put away 
And I said, you know, I'm going to put it out, and also it will remind me that I want to get it framed. Yes. But I need another wall. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> no space. No for... space. And you'll see uh, why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I don't, mustn't forget this. Oh, yeah. Fernando Salicru was one of the founders of Dayal Boricua in Manhattan. Mm. And uh, he did this. This is one of his original pieces. This he, he had this larger, but he came to the office and he offered, and I bought it from him. Yeah. And if you look closely, you see eyes behind the plants. And the name of this piece is Una vez más Colón. One more oh. time, Columbus. Because the next time they're going to get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. This is um, Antonio Maltorel. And he did this for Comité. Mm. And this one is um, Juan Sanchez. Okay, yeah. And uh, this was dedicated to to our and uh, well, most of them were not here, but sure. uh, Sonia is still here. But uh, you can see all the people that we honored yes. right there that year. And then I have Manny Vega sure. with the drummers. And this is for Ochung, I believe. Mm. And I got this from El Diario. Okay, yeah. This is Look at my that. award in 1996. And of all the awards you've gotten, there's only a couple that are even on display. I know that there's many, I, many more awards that you, you probably... Know, I actually d donated uh, the ones uh, that were, they were so large. I donated it to uh, Centro. Sure, sure. Yeah. Those were the ones from the government. You know, yeah, from, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tania Torres, Puerto Rican artist. My favorite. Yeah. And then this is uh, Tufino again. Sure. This is Tufino, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's Tufino as well. This one here is um, uh, this is Samuel Lin from Puerto Rico. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And you're gonna see a lot of his work here. This was done by uh, I, I got this from someone and I believe this is in South America. Okay. You could see from the from the costumes, you see the hat? Oh, yeah, 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 I see that. This is Colombia. Okay, and this yeah. was done by a friend's wife. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I've talked to you about the park that was named after Evelina, yes. which is uh, the Evelina Antonetti Playground. Yes. And it's also right next to Ostos, which is really important. Absolutely. This is my Christmas tree. It's sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Tufino again. Yes. See? And then over here is Manny, Manny Vega. And that, that's a, a, a ritual that they do, that they did in Brazil. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Wow. Okay, here's that Samuel Lin from Puerto Rico, and Samuel Lin again. Now he did that for Ostos. Oh, okay, okay. For the Bomplet Naso in 2002. Wow, yeah, some of these posters are just amazing. And this one is um, Antonio Maltorel. Okay. I like the colors on that one a lot. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay. This was done by Adal Maldonado, and that was in his home in 1983. And that day he took uh, photographs of the 
three of us and my aunt. So sure. he's Evelina, he's Lillian and me, and this is my aunt, yeah. Vicenta. Tia. Mm. Okay, let's do the kitchen. Okay, got yeah. A lot of stuff here too. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, this, this was done by a friend of ours. Um, and he grew up with my, with my husband here. They used to uh, do the airplanes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, he, when he got married, they moved to Cape Cod. And we went to visit them. And I saw this, and I said to him, that looks like my mother. Yeah. Because it just reminded me. And it, it's an island person. Sure. You know, from, uh, really from like Hawaii or some place like that. But when I was leaving, he gave it to me as a gift. Wow. So I treasure this. This was given to me by, by uh, Wally. Yeah. La Madrina de Todos. Absolutely. <laughs> and this is from one of Nicolás's books. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, look at that. And then over here... Yeah, I believe... I, I'm almost sure that this is uh, Pepo Mosorio. Oh, okay, this one right here, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, back to... Uh, my friend, the George, George, George Aguirre. Yeah. I love this. And this is a famous Francisco Yer. Oh, yes. That if you look at it more than, the more you look at it, the more you find. Oh, it sure. In the uh, print. This was at the most. It was a traveling exhibit, and I saw it at the Museo del Barrio. And then when I've been to Puerto Rico, I've seen it too. Yeah. And somewhere in the, this one, mm -hmm. I was a child, and I, I just love that. Yeah, you know, I love that The too. expression. This was a, an artist I discovered in Puerto Rico, and I just loved her work. So every time I went, I would buy something okay, that she did. Yeah. You could, I'd like you to take that. Sure. She, and I have another piece of hers in the other room, you'll see. Then uh, I used to go a lot, you know, to Puerto Rico, and I would go to the festivals or go to the um, to the different places, and I would buy these wonderful pieces. Sure. And right here, uh, the chapel here. Yeah. Um, my f uh, my son's best friend lives in this building, <laughs> right there. That's all crazy. All the way wow. up on the top. And wow. He, he has, So uh, we did this song, right? Yeah. We did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wanted you to see something. Oh, sure. This is about 65 years old. Oh, wow. My mother, my mother gave me this uh, when I got married. Wow. Yeah. So That's amazing. So I, you know. I hardly use it now because of, you know, the blender and all that. Sure, but still. sure. And these are to have soup in. Okay, yeah. Oh, the, those are in wonderful the cube? dishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, okay, so we'll continue. Oh, you must take a picture of this. Oh, absolutely. This is over 100 years old now. Absolutely. It's probably like 110. But it's a pot belly stove, and it was given to me by Minerva, the one that gave me that piece from South America. Yeah. Uh, and her husband at the time. Wow. They were moving down, uh, they were going to move out of New York, 
and um, they gave it to me. And Paul was the one that had to bring this up. And he said, he said, when you get rid of it, you can give it to me because I deserve it. <laughs> so it's been there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh... and we, they did a workshop, and uh, that was the piece that I did. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now this is a, a family, a family uh, gallery right here. Yeah. Now you can see the top. That's Karina. Oh sure. And Karina. Yeah. Right. And that's my aunt, that's Tia with yes. Enrique. And then this is uh, Karina's mom. Uh, he's Tony, my oldest, and his wife and Paul. Sure. And um, let me see. I have here um, me, my my niece uh, Lorraine, who passed away, mm. and that's Rafi, my nephew, my cousin Santos, and Lillian. Okay, yeah. And then uh, Paul with Lillian at her retirement party. Oh, sure. And here's a picture of Evelina. And this she is again. This was taken by Frank Espada. No, no, not Frank Espada. Frank Reyes. Oh, Frank okay, Reyes. okay. Here she's, this particular picture, uh, she's uh, reading the uh, a Port Apache script. Oh. Yeah. I found the recording of, of her and Richie uh -huh. talking talking about the the, the, the film, the film yeah okay I will I will and uh, here's Paul as a youngster okay yeah and this was uh, uh, in the building this was the building that uh, Evelina had for the escuelita the school sure and then this is uh, my mom oh yeah and this is the famous place to take a picture with the roofs. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I'm going to let you go in here and take some shots of some of the great pictures that I have. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Where should I start here? That's um. That's Tanya, Tanya Torres. Oh, okay. This, I don't know the artist, but I bought that in PR. Sure. And I bought that in PR. That doesn't need a explanation. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you get this? This is a famous yeah, picture. Uh, yeah. That's Shirley Rodriguez, the one that did the picture of me and Karina. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's Caparo. This is, um, I put that in, uh, um, Uruguay. Oh, okay. And that when it, when Lillian passed, my girlfriend sent me this. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go in here too, because there's a lot in here. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I, this is this picture I have. It was my home that I never got to live in, but it was blown away by a hurricane. Oh, that's right. I remember you mentioning that to me. Yeah. yeah. That, that hurt. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Because I had plans for that. Yeah. And uh, this was from Samuel Lin and also Samuel Lin. This is his uncle walking down the road. Wow, yeah. That's in Loisa, in Puerto Rico. Sure. And uh, I think you're going to recognize the lady in the middle again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's the chair of uh, Ostos. Oh, okay, okay. For That's the, the board. Yeah. 
Oh, I have a larger picture of this yeah. in the other room. And uh, I want you to see here. This is, this is my work. Oh, sure, yeah. I took these two. They wow. speak, uh, Sidney Poitier. Yeah. And Paul and Petey again. Yeah. That, this is Ma, Adan Mandorados. This is Raul Julia. Mm. And Pura Betre. Sure. Wow. Okay. And then, uh, that picture over there is uh, my, my sister's in the middle, Lily, uh, Evelina. Lillian is next to her. I'm the little one, and my mother's <laughs> on the right. Yeah, that's a wonderful. That was wonderful at 110th photo. Street in Central Park West. Wow. Right in the park. Wow. Yeah. And then that picture was taken, it was painted by a friend. Uh, it, uh, and it was from a little picture, you know, the five and ten pictures. Sure. That's it comes from that. But uh, Evelina uh, dressed me up uh, for I think it was during Thanksgiving or something, uh, and you could see she put all the jewelry. Yeah. She made up my face. She put the head wrap. I was only about six years old. Yeah, and you, you Carmen Miranda? Carmen Miranda. Yeah. See. <laughs> this is, um, this is uh, me. Uh, I, I look very wise there. <laughs> it was at a exhibit at Osto's Community College. Yeah, yeah. This was done by a friend who does uh, woodwork. Sure. In Texas. He did this too, this mirror. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. And this is again, this is some of my collection, but I want you to see. This one was given to me by Evelina. Oh, and okay. Sioko is the artist yeah. who lives, she lives in Puerto Rico. She, you know, spent time here and then went back. Yeah. Uh, and if you could do the bottom, you see that chapel that I just showed you? In the oh, picture? yeah, wow. That's a replica. Look at that. And to show you that my my uh, granddaughter is an artist as well, you know, she, I showed you the picture that she did. Yes. Uh, this is her work. Okay, yeah, look at that. So, we're, I'm surrounded by artists. You are, yeah. <laughs> See this? Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. And I think I showed, you took a picture of this, right? This I did, yeah. Table stuff? I did, last time, yeah. Yeah. I'll show yeah. that again. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move on. Okay, this is my friend again, Antonio Maltorel. Sure. He was doing a, a what do they call that, like a fellowships? What oh, yeah. Like it's, there's another name for it. Uh, and in the arts, for Ostos, he was there from almost, uh, I don't know, eight or nine months. Okay. And he did this. Wow. And this was given to me by an artist. I don't remember her name when I was at AHA. But it, she was from South America, so you could see there. Yeah. And then uh, Samuel Lin, this is his mom and him. Mm. Uh, he, you know, he drew this sure. when he was in school, and his uncle. Yeah. Every time I go to Puerto Rico, 
I say, I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> and then come back, and here I am. <laughs> so these are mostly, that's Dave Valentine. Oh, sure, yeah. And this is my very best friend, my sister friend, who passed away, Sylvia, mm. and her husband. This is my Stacy's, my niece, and her daughter, who's now in college, her husband. Mm. And I think you recognize this guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fernando Ferrer. Yeah. This little boy now is a dad of two sons. Wow. <laughs> and they're probably older than him in this picture. Wow. And that's me. And that's you, yeah. And this is Evelina with Malin Palu. Mm. And Lillian with Nicolas Amour. Sure. And David Diaz, who used to be with Channel 4 and Channel 2. And here we go. Okay. The yeah. Three Kings. The Three Kings. Jose Serrano, who was a congressman, me, and Rodriguez, who owns a lot of restaurants. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I think you recognize this guy. He was the governor, Mario Cuomo. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and he gave AHA uh, an award for our work. And this was Bobby's wife, Bobby Garcia's wife, mm. uh, Luis Cancel, and the other members of the board. Sure. And I'm here laughing. Yeah. <laughs> And when the book came out, the Portrait Week and Portraits, yeah. these, all these people are in the book, and Citibank did a, see, I'm holding. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They did an event for us. This is one of my favorite pictures of Evelina and Lillian. Yeah, that's a wonderful photograph. And this one was taken by Frank Espada of Evelina, and that's where he got that quote okay. about the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. And here's Rosana Rosado, who was the, the, the Secretary of State. Sure. And also uh, um, was the editor at El Diario for many years with Hillary. Yes, uh-huh. And guess who this is? Samuel Lin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just love his work. Absolutely. Mm. And in here, I have Nicolas Amor. That's Nicolas's work. She was a visual artist before she started writing. Okay. Wow. And then this is uh, Antonio Martorell. Sure. There we go. And that up there is Manuel. Manuel Tujol. He was my. He was worked with me at Aha. Okay. Yeah. And here we go. This was done by um, or, uh, uh, Audrey Hepburn did this. Oh, that's right. I remember you mentioning yeah. that to me yes. when you first showed Let's me see. these. I don't know why it doesn't stay. I'll hold it. Yeah. And I didn't know that she... She said she was an, she artist, was an artist as well. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why it doesn't stay, but I'll have to check it out. Then uh, that one in the corner, that was another award I got. That was a Guapa Award. Okay, I see that, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. And then you could see my, my treasure. Oh, wow, yeah. From Westbury. Yeah. This is 
the famous photo by David Gonzalez? Oh, sure, yeah. I saw there was a copy of that in the book. And then, yeah. Yeah. I don't know the artist here, but I bought that. Mm. I liked it. Yeah. And then this is uh, Manny Vega again. Oh, yes. There's Manny Vega again. And uh, you could see this was during the time of all those fires. You can see that. I see that. And then here is Celia Cruz, uh, Arsenio Rodriguez, the, uh, the artist, yeah. the musician. Then we have, let me, let's start here. Sure. I, I have these here, I had these framed and then the frame broke. Oh, but anyway, okay, yeah. this is my niece with her son. Okay. That's uh, Lupita, that's uh, uh, Lupita. Evelina's granddaughter. Okay. And Lorraine's daughter. Oh, okay, I okay. see, yeah. And then here's uh, Brenda and her two daughters. Okay, sure. And uh, those are my godchildren. Mm. And his, uh, again, uh, Enrique and his wife. Yeah. And then uh, this is Anita, Dani, and Raul. And unfortunately, in trying to save the pictures, sure. This, but he's supposed to be sending me another one. Okay, so, good. But this is Joey, and. Uh, and his wife, okay, beautiful yeah, wife. Yeah. So now we have uh, Evelina again, my mom, yeah. this is Karina as a baby, oh. <laughs> and this is Q as a baby. Oh sure. <laughs> and that's Q again. Yeah. My aunt. Oh, I see, yeah. And this is Q. <laughs> look at her. That's the way she look, looked at people. <laughs> they would, they would, people would smile at her and she would... <laughs> oh, I remember Karina talked about yeah, that a little. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and they think... And what? This is a famous photo. Oh, yes. That's what the painting is based yeah. off of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then there's another of my artwork, and then mm. this one. Uh, so to, this was uh, dedicated to Soto Velez, mm. the artist. Sure. And then again, he's Karina with her dad. Um, this is one of my pieces. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, remember I showed you that in the kitchen, the one with the, the artist? Yes, this, this is, is another hers. piece. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm. And then these two, this is um, Jorge Soto and uh, Chente Morales. They both worked with me at AHA with the newsletter. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And they both have made their transition. Mm. And then we, we did uh, Austos, a tribute to Petey when he passed away. Sure. And, uh, and this is it. And these are the people that performed. Yeah. And this uh, is from Austos. And this is more recent. Oh, before I even show you that. This is Jorge Soto. And oh. Jorge was... Uh, one of uh, our artists who passed away too soon. Yeah. Uh, mm. He did unbelievable work. Uh, this is more recent. This was a poster, uh, original poster, but um, they did a limited edition. Yeah. Uh, and I bought one. It's uh, Juan Sanchez is the is the uh, is the painter. Mm. And this was. All the uh, transgender women that were killed in Puerto Rico. Oh, okay, murdered. yeah, yeah. Mm.
Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah. This, this is uh, very dear to my heart. Uh, Henry Cevadre, Cevadre uh, passed away uh, of AIDS uh, quite a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was a, a wonderful artist. He painted, he did uh, hair styling. In fact, he used to do uh, Lucille Ball's hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he was just terrific. Well, this is two paintings of his. The Traviata, and yeah. this was done when he was 16 years old. No way. Yes. Wow. Yes. Look at the detail. I know, I see that. Wow. And that was before I knew him. When I got to know him, he became like a, a son to me, and he, he did this portrait of me. Yeah. And I said, that doesn't look like me. He says, I, that's how I see you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was him. Wow. And he, he also did my hair. Okay, yeah, yeah. <sighs> mm. So that, that Henry was very special to me. And, uh, you know, I, I remember him with a lot of love. Absolutely. And this was a young lady that used to work at UBP. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she did this cookie for me. And then my other friend, who's an, uh, uh, an artist, a poet, he's living in Morocco now. Oh, wow. And he said he brought this on one of his trips back to New York. He gave me this as a gift. Beautiful. So I've been very lucky. I've been really lucky to have all these wonderful people uh, share their art with me. Absolutely. Yeah.